Hi folks. Here is an article that appeared in the Dallas Morning News today. This article is about this man over here and how he's trying to establish groups that are for you Caucasians only and feel that the Caucasians are superior to all others. Well, he moves to the country in Eastern Europe called Estonia. That's it, kids. Eastern Europe. And he tried to establish these groups in Estonia. Well, the officials in Estonia said, wait a minute, that's a hate group. You're trying to spread hate in this country. Hit the road, buddy. So they shipped him to Canada because they thought he was Canadian. So now he's in Canada and he's doing the same thing, so says the Canadians. So they're looking to ship him somewhere and anti-racist groups in the United States appeal to the Canadians, hey look, send him back to the United States. We'll handle our own garbage here. Now that's their words, not mine. Here's what I find interesting about this whole situation. Oh, incidentally, he's now with this article so that he's now in North Dakota and the little hamlet and the population 17 or 29, I don't know exactly how many are in this little town. It's a little bitty town. Buying up land, looking for other people like-minded like him to move to the community to establish such a community where they will agree with his type of thinking. Well, the interesting thing about this is his freedom of speech in Estonia didn't exist. They threw him out. You going to hate? Get out. Freedom of speech in Canada. You going to hate? Get out. Freedom of speech in the United States. No problem. Come back to America and express all the hate you want. You see, folks, expressing hate for another group is part of freedom of speech. It may be reprehensible. The majority of us may disagree with it. But when it comes to freedom of speech, there's a residual effect. And the residual effect is you're going to get your feelings hurt. And that's a price we here in the United States are willing to pay to keep our freedom of speech. Apparently there are limitations to that or low tolerance in Estonia, Canada and other parts of the world. So he's free to come back to the United States as long as he's just expressing the hate, no violence, he's free to express it. He's a very little baby um, uh, minority in this country because the vast majority of us disagree with this type of rhetoric. What's interesting here is this is my evaluation, my uh, analysis. He and the few people that agree with it, they're basically upset. They're jealous of the fact they don't have an Italian heritage. That's it, kids. <laughs> where it all starts from. You see, we have Italian heritage. We don't have to form any groups. We're arrogant enough. We know where we stand. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>